Hey road trippers, we just wanted to answer the question for you. Is the Waggle Pet Monitor worth it? So we've been using a pet monitor for years now on all our RV adventures. Oh, we've been RVing for almost seven years now. Uh, we go on hikes, we go into town, we go on little adventures all over the place uh, as we travel around. We need something that we can rely on as we're exploring and we were contacted about the new version of the Waggle pet monitor. We've tested it out for several months to see if it's good as our older one that we used to use. And Allison's gonna tell you a little bit about what we think. So when RVing, uh, if you're away from the RV and you have pets behind, whether it's a cat, a dog, or a spider. Um, we have a jumping spider. Yeah, we have a jumping spider. <laughs> yes. So the Waggle works by uh, using cellular signal. So you download an app on your phone and it can send um, alerts to your email and it can send text messages as well. And so one thing to be aware of is if you're camping somewhere where there is no cellular signal where your RV is, then the waggle will be unable to report the temperature. And so that's something you need to be aware of. If you leave the RV and you are somewhere where you have no cellular signal, the waggle will send alerts, but you won't receive them if you don't have signal on your phone. Luckily, they have uh, Verizon as their cellular service provider, so they have pretty good coverage of the United States. So we've pretty much had coverage on the majority of our hikes, so that is a positive thing. Also, uh, we were camping a couple weeks ago and I had set the alerts, I had enabled all the alerts so that when we are away I would get them and uh, the unit lost signal just because you know the service was poor where we were camping and it did when it had gotten some signal it did tell me that it wasn't reporting. So it's, it's pretty comforting to know that even if it's struggling to send signal it will send that alert to you as well. Uh, one of the first things that you should know is in the little pack there is a mount of sorts. You can mount this on the wall. They have a little sticky tape on the back. You'll just peel it off and put it on your RV or whatever else you're in. We decided not to. We just kind of set it on the table. And if you want to use it, it's great. Pretty strong tape. You can feel it. And one good thing about the GPS feature is if you do mount the uh, waggle to your wall and you leave it in your RV when you're away or simply not using it, uh, the battery lasts, they say on average, you know, four days. So should your RV go missing, uh, it does have GPS to where you're able to see where it is. So that's a perk that um, should your RV be stolen, then you have a certain amount of time to perhaps locate it if you know the waggle is still inside the RV. So going into the app on the phone, uh, you're brought to a screen that shows the current temperature in the RV. And right now it's pretty warm because it's 100 degrees outside and to film this we need to turn the AC off so that you can hear our voices. Uh, but uh, in the top left corner is a refresh button so if you're out and about and you check on the current temperature inside your RV um, and you see that it hasn't reported in an hour or so, you can refresh that button and it will update it um, to the last time that it just kind of pinged. There was a time we were camping a few weeks ago where it hadn't updated in four hours and so I was a little worried that it wasn't reporting and so I took the monitor, uh, when we returned back to the RV, I took the monitor outside. It was about 100 degrees at that time too and within 10 minutes I got an, a temperature alert that it had exceeded um, my, my um, settings. And so even if it's not showing that it's reporting, perhaps it is, that made me feel good to know that just because I hadn't reported in four hours, it did get send me alert within 10 minutes. So in the top right corner in the app, we're going to go into settings. And here you can see that you can have it set to Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, depending on your preference. And uh, there's a button here where you can enable all alerts and 
Um, it'll just simply turn on everything down the line. Uh, one thing that I'll bring to attention is the power loss alert. So I had just enabled all alerts and it um, um, also enabled the power loss alert. And that is simply if you leave with your unit plugged in and there is power loss to your RV, it will send you a power loss alert. I actually didn't have my um, monitor plugged in. I was running on battery and so I kept getting these power loss alerts. And so I was thrown thinking that the RV lost power, but then I went into the settings and quickly learned that I just didn't need that setting turned on if I was running on battery. So if you leave with it plugged in and you just want to know, is it the temperature, you know, if you get a temperature alert and you want to know, is it because, you know, the AC went out or there was just power loss in the RV, this is a good feature to have that I, I actually really like. And so I am going to turn that one off for now, but you can see that the temperature alert, there's a low battery alert as well, uh, which is good. Um, if you lose power and it comes back on, it will, it will tell you that as well. There's humidity and network alert. Network alert is kind of what I told you before, where it said that it wasn't reporting when there was little to no signal. I also have it to where it will send me text messages along with an email alert. Uh, sometimes, you know, you might be out somewhere where the signal is iffy and you'll get an email but you won't get a text or vice versa. Down here is your settings. There's minimum temperature and maximum temperature. Uh, we typically don't camp when it's super cold, uh, so I just leave that in the default setting, but I like to keep... Uh, probably around 85 but since it's so warm right now I'm not going to set that but you can kind of set a range what you prefer your RV to stay at if I'm away from the RV I like to set it so that I have enough time to react to an alert so if you set it too high if you leave it at 90 and then it reaches 90 and it takes you know five ten minutes for you to receive that alert and depending on how far away you are to come back to the RV to you know rescue your pets or get a hold of someone at the campground to rescue your pets um, it's a good idea to give yourself some leeway in the temperature and so that's what I like to do there's humidity minimum maximum humidity if that's important to you uh, but otherwise overall pretty happy with the unit yeah I, I think it's definitely worth it um, they have a plan and that plan is worth it's like you could buy quarterly, uh, it's broken up into different subscriptions. Uh, we are currently on the quarterly plan. I believe it was $89 or so. You know, in the app it tells you how many days left you have before that renews. Um, so if you're, you know, not going to be camping for a while and you don't need it, you can take a pause your subscription and just come back at another time. Uh, it's completely up to you. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I uh, think it's worth it if you have pets and you are concerned uh, for their safety and you like to get out and go do stuff. Uh, if you're going to sit around your camper and just hang out all the time, it might not be worth it. But if you're out and you're active and you want to make sure your pets are safe, definitely get this uh, Waggle Pet Monitor. Uh, if you are interested and Allison persuaded you to uh, get something like this, we have a coupon code J-O-Z-Z-Y-50, Jack Ozzy 50 Hey, poor Jack only gets the letter J. J-O-Z-Z-Y-50, J-O-Z-Z-Y-50. <laughs> Got a jingle, right? Um, if you're interested in getting it, you can use that coupon code. If you don't want to go through us, cool. I uh, just wanted to uh, let you know what we thought of it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, Road Trippers. Bye.